What's up everybody, how's it going? So I have been coding for just about five and a half years. And in this video, I wanna to try to condense these five and a half years in let's say just under 10 minutes. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the very beginning of year one, which brings us all the way back to the end of May, 2016, when I had just graduated from college and I made the decision to learn to code. I applied to a coding bootcamp, it was App Academy, and I remember they sent me material to learn to code and to then hopefully pass their interviews. So they sent me basically like foundational material teaching me Ruby, the Ruby programming language. I remember learning about for loops and conditional statements, all that good stuff. And then they sent me very easy practice coding interview problems, which were the types of problems that they gave you in their interviews. And so I spent about a month preparing for these things, learning to code. I remember getting really hooked and I ended up also applying to Full Stack Academy in New York City, which is another boot camp, and that is the coding boot camp that I ended up attending. So then the next few months were spent attending Full Stack Academy. That's really when I fell in love with software engineering, fell in love with Full Stack JavaScript, the tech stack that they taught us at the coding boot camp. That's where I worked or built the uh, various projects that you might have seen on my YouTube channel, things like my pathfinding visualizer, sorting visualizer, my little like programming language interpreter or new programming language that I kind of created back then. And that's also when I fell in love or got addicted to algorithm style coding interview problems. I remember doing a ton during the coding bootcamp and really enjoying them. So then, Fast forward to February 2017, that's when I interviewed at Google and got my hire decision from Google. And thinking back, that was really probably like one of the most impactful things that happened to me, both for my career and my life in general. Like it has really shaped the trajectory of my life, getting that hire decision from Google. And then also in that same month, February, 2017, that is when I started working on AlgoExpert, my company. I had just finished preparing for my coding interviews at Google. I remember thinking there's gotta be a better way. I pitched the idea to my co-founder Antoine and we got to work. Um, it's funny because thinking back, at the time, we had no idea that this simple idea would become like one of the leading technical interview prep platforms today. We had no idea. We also had no idea that uh, today we would be giving the promo code CLEM, C-L-E-M, for a discount on the platform to anybody who wants to use it. Uh, and yet, here we are in 2021, having done just that. But so yeah, that was February 2017. And then my first year of coding ended in May 2017, just around the time that I started working at Google. Now I'm gonna cheat a little bit and merge years two and three together because they were very similar, uh, but they were very important years of my learn to code journey. Uh, they were spent, I would say, half working as a software engineer at Google and half working as a software engineer on Algo Expert. And they were really like my most formative years as a software engineer. You know, attending my coding bootcamp brought me from like zero to 20 as a software engineer. I would say that years two and three brought me from 20 to 80 or 20 to 90 as a software engineer. Uh, because on the one hand at Google, I just learned so much. I learned how real software was built and shipped at big tech companies. I learned how to work on a team as a software engineer. I learned, you know, the best practices of software engineering at arguably, you know, the most technically rigorous company out there. I learned about testing, being on call, large scale systems. I learned about the back end. Like I've always been a front end engineer and I had learned full stack JavaScript, but really mostly the front end. But at Google, I worked in tandem with a back end team and got to really like learn a lot about how like the back end works. So it was just really useful and really made me grow as a software engineer. But then at the same time, I worked on Algo Expert, where I was a single engineer working on the UI because at the time during those two years, it was just me and my co-founder and I was basically in charge of the entire UI. I built the first version of the UI from scratch. And there it was kind of the wild west. Like 
I was doing whatever I wanted, no code reviews, kind of just YOLOing it. We got to experience like a lot of weird stuff, you know, making a lot of mistakes, um, cutting corners because you kind of have to when you're just such a small team. But yeah, it was just a, a great learning experience, especially doing that in parallel with working at Google. So then year four started in May of 2019, and that is when I applied to and got into Facebook and also when I left Google. So at Facebook, I only spent like two months, so didn't really have time to experience too much, although I do think that I did learn some stuff from my short two months there. Um, namely, I feel like I got to experience like how software can be shipped and built so differently at another big tech company because Facebook is just very different than Google. And uh, yeah, that was very just eye-opening. I got to experience like quite a few different teams during my two months there, during the, the boot camp phase of Facebook. Uh, got to see different code bases, different tech stacks. So just all around pretty interesting. And then uh, a few months before Facebook, that's when I started my YouTube channel, this YouTube channel that you're watching right now. And uh, this YouTube channel is largely about software engineering. I had no idea that this YouTube channel would grow as big as it is today. I'm very thankful, very happy that it is. Um, I had also no idea how much I would uh, take advantage of the Google brand name and even the Facebook brand name to a lesser extent but to grow this YouTube channel. I mean, if you look at like my top 15 most viewed videos, I think that like 12 of them have Google in the name and in the thumbnail. Uh, sometimes I wonder if Google has benefited more from my marketing or if I have benefited more from their brand name. Who knows? But uh, yes, so that's when I started this YouTube channel. And that is also the year that I took the leap of faith, quit my full-time job, and went to work on Algo Expert full-time. And I remember that was a very uh, content-focused year for me where you know we released Systems Expert, our systems design interview prep product. Uh, we brought Algo Expert to 100 questions because it didn't have 100 questions back then. And I was the one doing all those questions and filming all the content. So I got, you know, quite a lot better at algorithms and data structures, a lot better at systems design, because it's one thing to, to know a topic, it's another one to teach it, you know, like you really crystallize your knowledge when you teach something. And so yeah, that was an interesting year. And that brings us to the fifth and final year, year five, or year 5.5, if you will, because I'll combine the last year and a half into the year five. This one was a weird one, because first of all, like the things that I learned as a software engineer were very miscellaneous, for lack of a better word. Like it wasn't like my first three years where I just learned programming, learned about how to ship software and all that. Here, this year, I learned very like acute things. For example, on Algo Expert, you know, you can run code in nine different languages. So I learned about how like that works, right? How to execute code in nine different languages. I had to become familiar with these nine coding languages, some more than others. Uh, like for example, like I got pretty familiar writing Kotlin. Or for example, we launched our mock interview feature on the platform. So I got very familiar with how things like video calls or you know a shared editor, coding editor, how these things work. But these are very like specific, like feature specific things that I that I learned about. But then at the same time, I also got much more detached from coding in this last year and a half. Like my day-to-day -day job has involved less and less coding. There have been bursts of weeks or months that I've spent not coding at all, maybe just reviewing code or doing little bug fixes, but barely coding. And then other bursts where I've gone back to coding. So very weird from that point of view. And then perhaps the most like poignant thing that I think uh, this this fifth year has had for me is that coding has become this very familiar activity, this very, dare I say, easy activity where I haven't felt particularly challenged by it, like especially having remained in my kind of realm of expertise, the front end for the most part, things have been pretty comfortable. Like even when I take a month or two months away from coding, I get back into it and it's just it comes back very naturally. It's very easy. I don't feel like I'm necessarily learning that much more or that much more new stuff. Um, I feel like I have most of what I need, if not everything that I need for 
what I need to do at Algo Expert, or if I wanted to be employable as a software engineer, like as a front end engineer, I could go back to Google or Facebook and I have everything that I need. You know, I don't feel like I need new stuff. And from that point of view, I feel like I'm not like the most challenged that I've been from a coding point of view, but perhaps that's just normal because like my job has required different skills and different attention. So that's kind of where things stand. I'm very curious to see like what the future holds, like what is year six and year seven and year eight gonna look like for me from a coding point of view. I'm hoping that in the medium term future, I'll be able to have the opportunity to push myself into something a little bit more challenging and, and unfamiliar from a coding point of view, but I suppose we'll see what the future holds. On that note, I hope that you enjoyed my five years of coding. Let me know what you thought about them in the comments below. I'm very curious about your own journey. If you can try to summarize it in a few sentences or even a few paragraphs in the comments below, I'd love to read them and I'm sure other people would love to read them. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short form written content, Instagram if you like pictures, and I will see you in the next video.